What has eight hairy legs probably lives in your house and loves to scuttle out from behind the curtains? You guessed it, huntsman spiders. Well done. These are great little animals. If you live in Australia, you've probably seen a huntsman spider species. They are found across the continent. These arachnids love living out in the bush, underneath loose bark on trees and underneath rocks. They also love to come into the house. I've got a couple that are living in my house right now. I let them stay because they are really good at eating any insects that get inside. So without further ado, let's go find one. We'll be checking under rocks, under bark on the ground, in crevices on walls, in logs, and on foliage. Sometimes we'll even see the social huntsman species huddled together under bark, foliage, or stumps. Remember that time we found a mum and her babies when we were looking for the green tree frog? Gotta think like a huntsman, move like a huntsman, hide like a huntsman. Okay, we've tried it all. I give up. Sadly, we can't win them all. It's been a bit of a miserable day, so we're just gonna head home now. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Look at this. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> right next to my Major Mitchell feathers. Let's get a better look at him outside. <laughs> well, this is what we've been looking for. This is a social huntsman. Look at this creature. They have these incredibly long, hairy legs. Those hairy legs are not to keep warm. That is for sensory detection. It's so they can feel the world around them. If they are sitting in ambush and a little insect touches their legs, it alerts them straight away so they can leap onto it and eat it up. These animals are predators. They don't eat plants. They only eat other insects. Crickets, flies, other spiders, they're all on the menu for this beautiful creature. Huntsmans have very good vision for spiders and they've got eight eyes across the front of their head. These allow it excellent vision when they're hunting. Some people are very afraid of spiders. They're called arachnophobics. It's things like these long legs. There's a mad looking head on these creatures. I can completely understand it, but they are harmless. This spider is sitting on my hand. They don't even like sitting on my hand very much. They don't really like human skin. It could bite me, but it won't. One of the reasons I love these spiders and one of the reasons I like them living in the house is they don't spin a messy web to catch their food. They just creep around looking for things. They'll either run down their prey like a cockroach or a cricket or they'll wait in ambush. And that's how they catch their food. So let's get this little web free fella back into the lab and we'll have a closer look. We're back in the lab and we're gonna be talking about huntsman spiders, the family Sporacidae. As you can see, they're a gray brown spider with long legs. But what you might not notice is that he's very flat. It's as if someone's put a brick on top of it. And this is called being dorsoventrally flattened. These huntsmen, they're a beautiful flat shape like that, like a pancake. So they can fit in between rocks, under bark, and really hide and hunt. You see this type of body form in other species like geckos and even small mammals. Any animal that loves getting into a tight crevice will always be dorsoventrally flattened. 
So we can see these beautiful long legs. Watch him move. And these long legs allow them to move very quickly over a short distance. We can expect this little spider to live for around two years, which is quite a long time for an invertebrate. When these spiders are ready to reproduce, the female will build an egg sac and in that she will lay around about 200 eggs. That's a lot of babies. These spiders are very good mothers and she will carefully sit over and protect her eggs for the duration of incubation. After a month or so, the eggs will hatch and all the tiny babies will swarm out. The mother will still sit with them and protect them from other predators while they get larger and their shells harden. Then, after a while, ooh, that was pretty good. <laughs> after a while, the little babies go off on their own. Okay, so she's just about to attach a web to my finger and she will abseil down very slowly. Just like that. Isn't that amazing? Come back here, you. We're almost done and I'll put you back. One final neat fact about these amazing creatures. When huntsmen need to grow, they have to molt their skin, which means to shed their skin like a snake or a lizard. How these guys do it is they effectively split in half and crawl out of their shell. Once they're out of their shell, they'll creep away somewhere quiet to let their new skin harden. This old shell will look exactly like a spider, except empty. So next time you see one of these huntsmen, check it's the real deal and not just a old skin. Wow. There's not too many spiders that I'd let crawl all over my hands just like this. And this one has been incredibly patient. So I think it's time we put this one back in the bush and not in my car. I hope to see you again soon. And in the meantime, stay wild. I'm out in the bush searching for stuff and I need you to search out the like and subscribe button for Henry's Wildlife. Stay wild.